Good evening, this is Luke Thomas, QuakePrediction.com here at the Earthquake Channel. It is 8.43 in the evening on Friday, January 22nd. And we have an important uh, earthquake warning for California coming up in just a second. We're gonna look at the quakes that have happened during the last 24 hours. We had a 5.7, the largest quake was a 5.7 in New Guinea, right there in uh, New Guinea. And um, 34 earthquakes. Well, 33 earthquakes during the last 24 hours. And if we zoom in on California, there's been six significant earthquakes uh, in the California area. And one new one right here in uh, Ridgecrest, 2.6. We have a major earthquake coming up in uh, California during the next, um, well, I would say during the next 36 hours. It could be as long as the 25th, but most likely on January 23rd, tomorrow. I'm very concerned because the last time we had this much energy uh, and risk level was on March 31st when the 6.5 earthquake hit Idaho. And we have more energy now than the March 31st when that 6.5 earthquake hit in Idaho last year, March 31st. So, um, and much more energy than when the Napa earthquake hit in 2014, which was a 6.0. So we're looking at a 6.5 to 7.0 earthquake in Southern California, most likely in Southern California. And the most likely spot right now is near the Salton Sea. I have another model that says uh, northwest of LA, but um, somewhere in California, we're having a major earthquake tomorrow and uh, it's gonna be between 6.5 and 7.0, most likely in Southern California, more likely in Northwest of Los Angeles and even more likely down near the Salton Sea. So uh, if you live in California, please be prepared and uh, let your friends know we're having a, uh, have a major earthquake uh, in the works during the next 24 to 36 hours and it'll most likely hit Southern California and more likely uh, Northwest of Los Angeles or the Salton Sea area. So we're going to keep an eye out for uh, four shocks and we'll keep you updated over at, uh, on Facebook and on Twitter and uh, please follow that. So let's go to the other forecasts in uh, Anchorage, Alaska. Here's the forecast graph. We are on the uh, 22nd right now. So a small peak of 70% uh, or so uh, in the Anchorage area. So pretty quiet for the next 24 hours. And Hawaii, we have a significant peak coming up on uh, late on the 23rd into the 24th. So a 4.5 to 5.0 is possible in the Hilo Hawaii area late on the 23rd into the 24th of January. All right, in Puerto Rico, we have a strong peak coming up on the late on the 23rd into the 24th as well. Uh, 4.0 to 4.5 is possible uh, in the Puerto Rico area, late on the 23rd into the 24th. And the Seattle area, we had a 2.5 when this maxed out here on the 15th into the 16th. And now we have another risk of about 69% on the 24th. 2.5 to 3.5 is possible on that peak on the 24th of January. All right, Athens, Greece. We had a significant earthquake on this uh, when it reached 100%, it was a 5.2, 4.2 on this peak, 4.4 on that peak. And this one here is on the 22nd. We actually had a quake. Um, Today on the 22nd, I uh, forget where exactly that was. Let me see here real quick. There it is, a 4.4 earthquake hit on this peak. So, and then after that, it gets kind of quiet in, uh, in Greece. All right, Bogota, Colombia, very quiet, 37% risk on uh, January 25th. Chile, Santiago, Chile. We have a 53% risk on the, late on the 25th of January, pretty quiet. 
And then uh, Costa Rica, we had a 5.9 west of Costa Rica on this large peak here, 5.2 south of Panama on the 16th, 4.2 on this uh, maximum of uh, risk here. And then 50% uh, risk coming up on the 25th. So about a 4.0 is possible on the 25th of January. And Cyprus, 4.9 happened on this uh, peak in risk, 62% risk there, 60% risk coming up on the 23rd, and 4.0 is possible at that time. And then in Ecuador, we have a 93% uh, risk coming up on the 24th in a couple of days. That could produce a 4.5 to 5.0. Ecuador, and then El Salvador, uh, 4.2 in this peak, 4.2 here, 68% coming up. Well, that's today. And I believe they just had a quake uh, on this uh, peak as well near El Salvador. Let's just check that real quick. And yes, they did. And here's the quake we're talking about right here. 4.4 earthquake hit on this peak. So we're moving right along here. Guatemala, uh, the risk is uh, maxing out at 100% uh, on the 23rd, which is tomorrow. So look for a, uh, about a 5.0 is possible, maybe larger on uh, the 23rd in Guatemala area, in the Guatemala area. Indonesia, we have a risk of 83% on the 23rd, 95% on the 25th. Either of those peaks could produce a 5.0 to 5.5 maybe on the 25th. And Naples, Italy, this is just for the Naples, Italy area, 87% risk on the 24th. Tokyo, Japan, the risk is pretty quiet now and is rising on the 26th. New Zealand, this is Christchurch. We could get a 5.0 in and around the Christchurch, New Zealand area and this peak on the 25th of January. Let's watch for that. Managua, Nicaragua. This peak uh, produced a 5.9 west of uh, Nicaragua in Guatemala area. And this one is a 4.4, 4.2 happened on this peak here. And otherwise it's pretty quiet now for the next uh, 48 hours. And Lima, Peru, 53% right now and 52% on the 24th into the 25th. So maybe a 4.0 during, during either of these peaks. And the Philippines, wow, strong peak on the 23rd. So this could produce a 5.0 on the 23rd. And on the 24th, we could get a, um, a 5.0 to 5.5 as possible on the 24th in and around Manila, Philippines. Puerto Rico, we could get a 4.5, I believe it is. Where did it go here? I think we already talked about Puerto Rico. Taiwan. Well, looks like my computer is slowed down here. There we go, Taiwan. We're actually the 23rd over there right now, so quiet in Taiwan for the next 48 hours. And last but not least, Istanbul, Turkey. We had a 4.6 southwest of uh, Istanbul on this peak and 40% risk on the 26th. Once again, we've got a serious situation in California and um, you can see this peak here on the, on the risk graph here on the other video here. Uh, very high risk on the 23rd. Uh, so 6.5 to 7.0 earthquake is likely. In, I don't usually like to use the word likely. However, in this situation, it is a dangerous situation right now in California. And uh, 6.5 to 7.0 earthquake is likely in California. More likely in Southern California. Even more likely in the northwest of L.A., and the current model is saying most likely near the Salton Sea. So 6.5 to 7.0 earthquake is likely in California, most likely near the Salton Sea during the next 36 hours. 
and even more likely on the 23rd of January. Thank you so much for following us here at quickprediction.com and the Earthquake channel. Uh, please subscribe at YouTube if you haven't already. We also have a Twitter channel, Twitter slash Quick Prediction, and also a Facebook channel. Uh, if you want to follow those, we update those all the time. So thanks again for uh, following us here at quickprediction.com and the YouTube channel. We will uh, keep you informed. Please tell your friends and family and spread the news as quickly as possible. This quake is going to be a major earthquake. We haven't seen this kind of earthquake in Southern California probably since the uh, 1994 January 17th earthquake in Los Angeles. Well, no, we had a uh, big quake in uh, 2010, April uh, 4th. That was a large earthquake. That was a 7.2 just south of the border. But this is going to be more likely in the Salton Sea or northwest of LA. So please be prepared. Please tell your friends. I can't stress this enough. This is a major earthquake coming to Southern California. Please warn your friends and family. And let's all be prepared for this earthquake tomorrow and possibly into the 24th, most likely on Saturday, January 23rd. Thanks again. This is Luke Thomas, quickprediction.com. And we'll talk to you tomorrow, <laughs> hopefully after the earthquake. Thank you so much.